have to start being powerful or we are going to die. It is up to us right now. Larry Kramer is a very interesting man. He's always been completely fascinating, even if he was having a complete hissy fit. It was always his way of motivating us, of getting us to go places where maybe we didn't think we could go. People aren't neutral on, on Larry, so you, you've, what I really wanted to do was to tell the whole story. I think the advice that I would give other you know, filmmakers who are embarking on projects is that you should really be creative in terms of where you look for things and not just you know, go to the footage houses. Even if they have what you're looking for, look in other places too, because it might be better um, what you find and, it, and more interesting. Um, and don't just do research online, obviously. You have to go there and look at it, because then you, can, you, you discover things and you find things. Um, by actually going there and talking to the archivists and talking to the librarians, making friends. Um, so I, I think that process is something that I would want to kind of share with other immersion filmmakers. Larry plunked down a typewriter and began to write The Normal Heart. It is the story of one person who said no, and that's how you start a movement. AFI is a broad-reaching venue where documentaries from all over the world can come together and, and provide a forum to just look at what is the state of the art of the documentary in 2015. I think um, having, having the film in Washington, D.C., which unfortunately has an astronomical HIV rate, um, is, is also important. Um, it's, it seems intractable here, but um, I think this film shows how, how there's actually you know, there's always room for, to push back and, to, and, and sometimes what you need to do is just be angry at, at, the, at those in power. And for me, the rates of HIV in Washington, D.C. Make, make me pretty angry at those in power here. <laughs> there's medicine before Larry Kramer, and then there's medicine after Larry Kramer. I am alive today because of him. We're no longer effeminate drag queens or whatever they put on television. And that image changed overnight.